Good evening, graduates, and welcome, friends, family, and everyone else who's tuning into this live broadcast. My name is Jamie Newman, and to help us kick off this ceremony, I'd like to share just a few quick announcements. And of course, the first announcement is obvious. Congratulations. Congrats to every single graduate. We are so proud of you. What a challenging year it has been, and what an accomplishment. No one said it would be easy, and it wasn't easy, but your hard work has paid off because, well, you're here, you did it. And for some of you, you've already started your new career, and for others, you're now ready to launch into a career that you love. And while we can't see each other uh, face-to-face in person right now, uh, wherever you are, let's all give each of the graduates a massive round of applause. Okay, so here's the plan for this evening's event. First, we have a few special guests who want to congratulate the graduates. Next, we'll hear a student success story. Uh, Then we'll have the valedictorian speeches. And finally, we'll celebrate each and every graduate. And make sure that you stay until the end of the presentation because we're going to have a special virtual grad package to share with you after the ceremony. Let me also say that we would love to celebrate with you on social media. We know it's not the same as being in person, but one of the silver linings of this past year has been the opportunity to embrace technology. And social media is one way that we can share this moment with our friends and our family. So if you're a grad, uh, we have a special graduate photo frame filter that you can use if you haven't already to share with your network on Instagram or Facebook. For Instagram, simply search AOLCC and find our profile. And then navigate to the smiley face right here, click on the photo, uh, the photo frame, and then select try it. Okay, uh, for Facebook, it's a little bit more complicated as you'll need to navigate to our Facebook page, then click on events, then go into this virtual graduation event, click on the first post that you see that says hashtag AOL grad 21, Instagram and Facebook filters are here, and then click on the Facebook link at the bottom. And for everyone else, let's show some appreciation for our grads, which you can do by commenting on this video and sharing a message on whatever social media platform that you prefer. Just remember to use the hashtag AOLgrad21 and tag our page so that we can see it too. Finally, let me also remind all of our graduates, our current students, and our alumni that our referral reward program increased this year to $250 when you refer a friend who starts a program with us. And this virtual graduation ceremony is a great video to share with any friends who might be interested in both celebrating with you, of course, but also any friends who might want to learn more about our college and hear firsthand what the AOLCC experience is all about. And with all that said, let's jump into the presentation, into today's celebration. Here we go. Welcome graduates and guests to our very first virtual graduation. And thank you for attending. 25 years ago, our first Academy of Learning Bank uh, graduation took place. We had afternoon teas and cake which evolved to banquets at each campus with over 600 guests and graduates. And now it's virtual with unlimited attendance. Graduates, we congratulate you on a job well done. You are flexible, determined, and successful over these past months with virtual classes and online training. We also thank our staff for being innovative and reassuring as they provided any assistance that you may have needed. As Elmer mentioned, this is the 25th year of graduates for us. In recognition of these 25 years in your communities, we are pleased to offer one $2,500 scholarship at each of our seven Academy of Learning Career College campuses. Each student enrolled in and started in a new program in May or June of this year will have their name entered into a draw for this scholarship. Graduates, enjoy the many congratulations you will be awarded. You deserve them. And remember that you are well prepared for your new career and new opportunities. Good luck. And once again, congratulations. Good evening, graduates, family, and friends. I'm Karina Kuchin. I'm the General Manager of Academy of Learning 
in Calgary, Edmonton, Medicine Hat, and Red Deer. Thank you for choosing Academy of Learning to be part of your journey to your new career. I'm happy to be part of the celebration of the nearly 700 graduates from our four cities. We are also proud of the hard work and the obstacles you have overcome to get to where you are now. You have shown that you are versatile to change, that you are able to embrace new challenges, that you're able to adapt to learning remotely, which meant that you had to manage your time effectively and learn new ways on how to be a student in a virtual environment. These are all skills that employers demand. Your future is bright. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Hi, Drew Barnes, MLA Cypress Medicine Hat. I want to congratulate all the graduates of Academy of Learning, first of all, for your great accomplishment and your hard work. I know, you know, I want to also thank your friends and your family for all the support and all the extra work it took to help get, get through this together and get your degree. But congratulations. And hey, just a brief point. It's something we share in common. I too am a graduate of Academy of Learning a few years back, taking a few computer courses that uh, I learned a lot and hey, I passed too. So once again, to all the graduates of Academy of Learning, congratulations. What a great achievement and all the best in the future, making Alberta strong. Thank you. Darcy Lawrence, the Marketing and Communications Coordinator with the Medicine Hat Exhibition and Stampede. I just want to say a big congratulations to all of the 2021 graduates. Be bold, be courageous, be your best. Your future is bright, and congratulations to all of you. What a huge accomplishment you've made. Hey, good morning to our friends at Academy of Learning. We hear that you guys are graduating. It's Jesse and Lance from Chat 94.5. Man, do you remember when you graduated? Uh, yeah. Well, I had to go to school twice because the first thing I tried, I wasn't very good at. And then I ended up in radio. But, uh, man, grad was one of the best times ever. I mean, just being in that, you know, post-secondary experience and getting to oh. know that your career was about to really start was, uh, was such a treat. So, so nothing like it for sure. And we are very honored and thrilled that you asked us to send you a video. So happy graduation. We hear that some of the grads are already working. Yeah. Uh, I think some are in the healthcare profession. So thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, I believe there were office. Medical office assistants. Yeah. There's legal assistance. So forever in trouble, make sure you remember us. Yeah. Please. Thank yeah. you. If you could give any bit of advice to graduates, what Ooh. would it be? Uh, embrace like what's coming because now this is when the real fun gets to start. Now you get to start your career and, and what you're going to be doing for, for a lot of years down the road. Something that we always like to, to tell people is learn something yeah. every day, learn one thing and hopefully you'll learn something every day. Happy graduation. First of all, let me say congratulations. You have worked hard and now is the time to celebrate. I can't imagine how difficult it has been to perhaps balance work family, commitments, and schooling in this COVID environment. But you've all adapted and are better off for it. If we have learned anything this year, it is that all of life's things can be taken away from us through no fault of our own. But there's one thing that cannot be taken, and that's education, learning, and self-improvement. I hope you find some way to celebrate with those of your closest friends and family and to make the best of your accomplishments. Education provides hope, so here's to a better times ahead. On behalf of myself and all city council, congratulations, all the best. Hi everyone, I'm Demetrius Nicolaitis, Alberta's Minister of Advanced Education. It's my uh, honor and privilege to be here with all of you today to congratulate uh, each and every one of you, the newest graduates of the Academy of Learning Career College. I know you've all put in a significant amount of hard work and effort to get to this incredible milestone and I'm incredibly confident that the training and skills development that you've received through your program will set you on a very clear path to future success and prosperity. Once again, I want to wish you all the very best. Congratulations. I know it's a little challenging that we have to celebrate virtually this year, but uh, I know that won't uh, limit your efforts. And I know, again, that you will go on to achieve incredible things. So once again, on behalf of the government of Alberta and our Premier Jason Kenney, congratulations and all the very best. Hi, everyone. I'm Keisha. 
Um, I'm very honored to be asked to do this today. Um, unfortunately, it's not the way that we all maybe had wished. Um, as I know, I wish we could all be celebrating in person, but I guess this is a close second. Um, I really wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the support I've had to get me to where I am today. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do with my career. Uh, I took one year at Mount Royal University as well as another year at the University of Lethbridge playing basketball at both. Um, while yes, I loved the sport I had played since moving to Medicine Hat in grade 10, uh, I never quite felt um, like I could see the light at the end of the tunnel um, with the schooling I kept taking. Uh, it felt like I was going in circles and just was going nowhere. So shortly after I finished my second year at the University of Lethbridge, I decided to move home. Um, and this is where I started working at a local pub here in town. This is actually when I first met Elaine, who was literally the sun that shines through every storm. Um, her personality could catch anyone's attention. She's so bubbly, caring, compassionate, but on the other side, you do not want to be on her bad side. <laughs> Um, she's the type of person that anyone would want as a friend. Uh, she She's so selfless, and all she ever wants is the best for everyone. Slowly after getting to know her and her life, I became uh, quite interested in what she was always talking about. And one of those main things were her job, as she taught the medical office assistant program in Medicine Hat. Uh, I've never in my life seen someone love what they do more than her, and that's when my realization kicked in. Um that I wanted to be like that. After many, many talks with her, I decided to look into the program that she taught. Um, and ever since I did that, I have never regretted nor looked back at the decision I made. Um, it was the best thing I could have ever done for myself. And the thought of me not doing it or opting out of this option still scares me to this day. Elaine is the type of person that would come in early, would stay late just to help you or anyone, um, you could text her at 1 a.m. and you would still get a response. Um, when I say she puts everybody's success and happiness above hers would be an understatement. This woman deserves the world after helping me get my world started. Uh, as the pandemic started, it became really hard to get a hold of anyone in the school um, and get the help that any student requires with the changing staff and the closing down of the school. Um, it didn't make anything easier. In fact, it made it insanely harder. Online schooling sucked, um, but Elaine still knew how to keep us engaged um, and included in everything we did, even if it was through a computer. Um, while my course was becoming close to the end, Elaine found a practicum for me to do. Um, while not being fully done my school, I was a little apprehensive whether I should jump into this or if I should kind of finish school as my number one priority. She had convinced me um, it was the right thing to do as there was a new specialty clinic here in Medicine Hat opening. Uh, it opened in June and this was probably just the end of July. Um, I started my practicum the second week of August um, and instantly fell in love with what I do. I felt um, in love with everyone I met in that environment. Um, I was quite lucky because as soon as my practicum ended, I was hired and I'm forever thankful for that. Uh, if it wasn't for Elaine looking out for me, I would have never landed the job, um, I, that I've dreamed for all my life. I work alongside two of the best doctors I could ever ask for and coworkers now have become lifelong friends. Honestly, Elaine, I would not be where I am today, loving my life if it wasn't for you. And I cannot thank you enough for that. My family has been my rock since day one. They have always been the ones from there for me every time I have failed and need to get back up. The tears, the smiles, the laughs are what have got me through this. Like I said, doing this during a pandemic is not easy whatsoever. Um, but I always knew I had them to count on, which made everything so much easier. Throughout my experience in post-secondary, I finally feel like I deserve it in the end after all of my setbacks. If it wasn't for Elaine, my family, my friends, uh, I wouldn't be here today telling my story. Thank you to everyone as well as, well as everyone at the Academy of Learning to get me here today um, to be as successful as I can be. I, I really couldn't have done it 
without all of you. So thank you. Good evening. It is amazing honor to stand before you class of 2020 and to deliver the graduation speech. I would like to start by thanking my classmates who supported me and each other as we advance throughout our course. To our lecturer, thank you for your guidance and support and encouragement. And most importantly, thank you for sharing with us your love and knowledge for the subject you teach. To my family, thank you for giving me all the help that I needed to reach whatever goals I had. 2020 was a unique year with posed numerous challenges to teaching, learning all, all of which make this achievement remarkable. Our class consisted of students all around the world, united with single objective to utilize the opportunities given to us by this wonderful country. As we move into our communities to practice our skill and apply our knowledge that we have gained, I do not need to remind you of the value we bring to the client care and our rules in the healthcare team. Our participation in the healthcare team come with responsibilities to our teams, client, and colleagues. I would invite all of us to embrace civility, a concept vital to effective teamwork. This is a quote from in Civility Saves Lives. Almost all excellence in healthcare is dependent on teams and teams work best when all members feel safe and have a voice. Civility between team members create a safety and is a key ingredient of great teams. It also worth mentioning that incivility rob teams of their potential. The pillar civility require us to show respect from ourselves and others, develop awareness of the healthcare team around us that being colleague and the client. Cultivate good communication. Be responsible to ourselves and our action in the environment we live in and our teams. And please don't forget self-care. Go into the world proud and never stop learning. Grab every opportunity with both hands. Is it it is this self-care that make us better. It is this self-care that improve us our efficiency and the care we deliver. Congratulations, Batch 2020. Late embrace civility. Continue to advocate for our role in the healthcare teams and be proud of the important work we do and the life we touch. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Ashley Lockwood, Business Administration. Mary Finley, Business Administration. Honors. Devin Dyke, Business Management. Amber Short, Community Service and Addictions Worker. Melissa Bender. Community Service and Addictions Worker Tracy Millard Community Service and Addictions Worker Honors Savannah Jimon Computerized Accounting Sonia Busada Computerized Office Procedures and Marie Kerr Dental Administrative Assistant Honors Mercedes St. George Dental Administrative Assistant Amy Surrett Educational Assistant 
Jamie Walter, Educational Assistant, Kate Lynn Pugh, Educational Assistant, Kate Lynn Schultz, Educational Assistant, Latifa Bihari, Educational Assistant, Honors, Tanya Whitaker, Educational Assistant, Tana Ferguson, Educational Assistant, Honors, Adrian Terrio Cameron, Healthcare Aid, Honors All Subjects. I want to thank the teachers and staff at AOL for all your help and my family for your support. Couldn't have done it without you. Alyssa McKenzie, Healthcare Aid. Bina Monica Allegner Sai, Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Crystal Aquino, Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Derwil Santiago, Healthcare Aid. Frances Nori Mendez, Healthcare Aid. Burley Chua, Healthcare Aid. Honors. Glenda Poison, Healthcare Aid. Honors. Helena Berganti. Healthcare Aid. Jackie Boone. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Jacqueline Yogobin. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Jade Lynn Bullen. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Jaden Sadler. Healthcare Aid. Jenna Larson. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Jocelyn Velasco. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Crystal Colleen Gibb. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Lachlan Bell. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Laurie Kennedy. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Maria Faye Socorro Usman. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. May Mongolau. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Marge Lee Wright. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Maribel Ganding. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Melissa Walsh. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Natalie Nielsen. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Peggy Spaulding. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Rebecca Ryan. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Raymond Fidel Sol. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Rhoda Aguilar. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Ronald Hippos. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Samantha Pomeroy. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. Sarah Lewis. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Sheila Angelus. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Taylor Bowie. Healthcare Aid. Honors. Taika Munger. Healthcare Aid. Honors All Subjects. 
Jessica Davila. Healthcare aide. Honors. Robin Laffin. Legal Administrative Assistant. Shania Davis. Legal Administrative Assistant. Honors. Amanda Redwood. Marketing Coordinator. Amy Williams. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Ashley Larson. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Cassidy Greg Gaines. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Estee Stone. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Haley Madsen. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Jacqueline Fewer. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Keisha Milne. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Catherine Olermo. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. You Kendall Longmore. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Kimberly Blackwell. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Loisa Fadoruk. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Lori Rowland. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Mandy Mackin. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Musucula Carpe. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Pamela Grant. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Penny McKay, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Rachel Hogg Ben, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Serena Dale, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Taylor Pantilla. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Tiana Haskell. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Tina Paro. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Tony Dees. Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Honors. Tricia Serrano, Medical Office Assistant with Health Unit Coordinator Specialty. Jody Bjornsson, Office Administration. changed my life. It's really changed. It's actually helped my life a lot that I'm able to do what I love and still have that proper balance for myself and for my two young daughters. What I think makes Academy of Learning unique is the way we help our students find the career that they will feel passionate about. What I love about the Academy of Learning is our diversity. I just cannot say enough good things. This program is perfect. It lets you have a life outside the program. It lets you do all the things you need to do 
like parenting or working or anything and it still gives you all the knowledge you need to have a job and it's affordable. What I love most about the Academy of Learning is its people. It is all about people. The best part of my job is to see our students graduate and to see them succeed. The proudest moment for me is to see the success and accomplishment of students and to know that the Academy of Learning has changed their lives. When a student succeeds, I succeed. We're like one big family. I see the impact that our training can make on a student's life, as well as their family's lives and the community. It's very rewarding and cool to be able to attend graduation every year and know all of our students on a first name basis. It's also very rewarding to know when an employer contacts me searching for a graduate to hire that I'm able to give them a well-rounded recommendation for the student that I am recommending. We're willing to go the extra mile to make sure that the students get where they need to go. We're like a family. The most enjoyable part of my job is to meet and know students who come from all different backgrounds, knowing their struggles and helping them to change their lives for a better future. I think that this college is the best way to earn an education, especially if you want to get into it, get it done so that you can get into that new field. Number one, find your passion and get an education. Start a new path or a career that you can feel good about yourself in.